Don't tell me more about your private life than necessary. Man's selfish nature does not consider the suffering of others. There are not many people who sincerely worry about your private life and comfort you. Rather, your story spreads around and is consumed as a topic to relieve boredom or one day it will become a dagger and stab you. Also, if you talk too much about yourself, people rather than getting closer, it gets farther away. Human relationships continue to change over time. It's very close now, but we don't know what will happen in a few years. No relationship can last forever. If your relationship goes bad with someone who knows your deepest personal life well, there will be a lot of things you need to worry about unnecessarily. In particular, I must be careful not to expose your bad habits or unfortunate stories to the judgment and criticism of others. Keeping the necessary parts of life a secret makes you more dignified and it can instill in others the perception that you are a person to be respected. It would be foolish to talk about your private life, which should not be revealed, and then regret that I wish I hadn't told you when I got home. Don't brag about yourself. What you brag about before others even acknowledge you devalues the work and makes you more and more humble. A person who only boasts about himself every time he meets gives offense to the other person. Right now, I'm with you out of necessity, but the people and good people who originally thought about leaving will also leave you. Cultivate humility and avoid unnecessary envy and jealousy. Sincere people don't feel the need to constantly brag about their success. Such people know their worth and do not seek validation from others. Continuing to talk about your good deeds or achievements can make you look arrogant and people may start to avoid you. It is better to let your true character shine through your actions rather than trying to prove yourself with words only. People who truly appreciate your kindness or generosity will remember it and will know and reciprocate someday, even if you haven't revealed it to anyone. Humility and true kindness are what make others truly love you, and it is important to cultivate these qualities in yourself rather than relying on self-promotion. Don't talk about the money you have. The three things that hurt a person the most in the world are anguish, quarrels, and an empty wallet. Among them, an empty wallet hurts people the most. So don't tell even your closest friends how much money you have. Humans are hurting just because someone else has more than you. Everyone claps in front of them and seems to be happy together, but in their hearts they are not. It is human nature to ignore people who have less money than me and to be jealous if they have more money than me. In particular, if an acquaintance who used to live with me suddenly became rich, the intensity of jealousy increases at that time. At the same time, it is easy to act as if it is natural to ask for or expect something and receive more. Eventually the relationship comes to an end. So never talk about your money, no matter how close your friends and family are. Don't gossip about other people's flaws. Swearing at someone makes you look negative and damages your own reputation. Even if you feel that you are forming a bond with others through gossip, it can lead to suspicion and mistrust of you in social situations where trust is important. Remember that what you say about others can make you think back and negative stories can spread quickly and damage your social standing. Even when you need to object or point out someone is wrong, it's important to approach it tactfully and without direct criticism. Listen to their thoughts, 
empathize with their situation, and speak in a constructive way to help them grow. Don't give unnecessary advice or criticism. This is because it damages the relationship and leads to a lack of trust or respect. Instead, build positive relationships by offering genuine support and encouragement. Each of us has a different environment and situation. It is not always necessary or helpful to give opinions or advice about the behavior of others. It is enough just to empathize and listen. Don't tell your weaknesses. There is a saying that everyone is born with an axe in their mouth. A foolish man speaks carelessly and harms himself with the axe. Words come out of one person's mouth and go into the ears of a thousand people. Diseases and source of troubles enter through the mouth and come out through the mouth. You never have to reveal everything when you have to talk about your weaknesses. Don't have a deep conversation with someone you don't have a deep friendship with. You must always be careful because once you spit out words, you can never pick them up again. Think again whether it is appropriate for you to say this and whether you will not regret it. Talking a lot like a talkative person doesn't make you popular or get more recognition. A single word may inadvertently damage the reputation and image that has been built up over the years. There are stories that are okay to tell you, and there are stories that are better to hide. When you are unsure whether to speak to someone or not, First look carefully at the other person and wait until you are sure of the person's character. Then it becomes clear whether it is okay to say it or keep it a secret. The most dangerous thing in the world is the advice of people who haven't experienced it. There is no need to get caught up in the baseless judgments and evaluations of people who don't understand you. In the end, it's up to you to create and achieve your goals. It may be better to keep the goal to yourself until you make some progress toward it. Discussing your goals too early can expend unnecessary energy and prevent you from putting in the real effort needed to achieve them. You may face criticism or suspicion from people who do not fully understand your goals. Self-control is the greatest victory. Live in the belief that if someone is saying something bad about you, no one will believe it. Like a flock of flies that do not touch clean places but only seek wounds, evil people ignore the strengths of others and try to find only the shortcomings. So don't mix with the wicked. The wicked will use you as a shield. And don't be like a swarm of flies. No one is more hated than the one who tells the truth. No matter how much sorrow you have, do not receive sympathy. For in sympathy there is also thought of contempt. Beware of self-deception. We end up being exactly what we think we are. Always be careful not to unconsciously fall into self-deception. Man is a being under the bondage of the body. Therefore, there is never satisfaction for man unless he is freed from his desires. If you want to see what a person is like, look at what he does when he is in power. There are three basic foundations of human behavior. They are desire, emotion, and knowledge. Control your negative thoughts and emotions. That is the greatest victory. The greatest victory is to conquer oneself. A wise man speaks when he has something to say. But the fool speaks because he has to say anything. An empty cart is the loudest. The less wisdom the more talkative. Sometimes silence can be the best answer. 
right action not only empowers oneself, but also has the power to lead others in the right direction. Education means teaching our children to pursue what is right. The starting direction of education determines his future life. Only those with a happy heart can attain happiness. The mind soon decides the reality. So if you change your mind, you can change your reality. If you want to be happy, first make your heart happy. Only those who can make their hearts happy can achieve happiness. Live your life as if you were playing. The world is boring to those who see it as boring. Beauty is in the eye of the one who sees it. Appearance is just a trick. Cultivate eyes that can see the truth beyond reality. Ignorance is the root and stem of all evil and all good begins with truth. Justice is to have what suits you and do what suits you. Justice is realized when each person does his best in what he has to do in his position and does not interfere with others. Be kind to everyone you meet. We are all fighting our own hard battles. The older you get, the more you realize the meaning of peace and freedom. Only then can the obsession be eased little by little and escape all kinds of desire for domination. A person who is calm and happy by nature feels little pressure on himself. You can be great when you feel grateful and will attract other great things.